At Sparks Coffee House, no stop in for a cup of joe, but among those enjoying their morning perks, it's Jake Koshak. I've only been doing this for a couple of months. I've been pretty much teaching myself with all of this, so I've taught myself a lot of techniques. She only buys caribou coffee at her local grocery store, grinds her own beans for morning mud. I think that what makes mine stand out is that a lot of artists are using like instant coffee to create their colors, and whereas I dehydrate myself myself. Some reduction of water, beans, and grinds is where she says she gets her colors from. And because she doesn't use outlines on her work, it means her art is spontaneous. So much of it is left to kind of the more organic splash feel. Most people drinking coffee this morning morning at Sparks Coffee House could see Jay making a masterpiece of sorts. They had little idea she was using coffee for paint. And I can't believe it's just coffee. It's really, really great art. Very impressive. Wow. I think it's pretty amazing. I mean, she's just taken what's left over at the apartment from the coffee and just made something great with it. Well, this is a great horned owl. With friends and family quickly spreading the word. This one I was really working on texturing. She finally had to get coffee art its own Facebook page and is now selling prints and originals online. And I literally did my first one in May and it's just kind of exploded since then. A hobby turning into something that could help the family financially. And to know you've got Jay's original coffee art, look for the coffee cup rings. Her personal trademark at Sparks on Hamden, where coffee made her do it. John Bowman, Fox 31 Denver.